So spicy. Mmm, that's good. It's creamy. There's red peppers, tiny shrimp. Good evening, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Binia, coming at you from beautiful Saranda, Albania, southernmost city in Albania. This place is gorgeous. Check this out. I'm here at my resort. Where are we at? What are we doing? Well, we are chilling. We are relaxing here at Bougainville Bay. So Bougainville Bay is the resort I'm staying at. They have a capacity of 400 people. They have a hotel, villas, apartments. apartments. They have four pools, three restaurants, spa. Okay, so you come here, you don't leave. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tour of the hotel, then after this we're going to the castle to see sunset, and then we're going to have a traditional dinner. Delicious seafood, I hope. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go. Hey, so what is this? This is the miracle. This is the freedom. <laughs> so this part of the resort is basically their beach. So they have their beach area, and then you go up into all the different pools. I mean, huge resort. At the top, you can see that is the infinity pool. It is incredible up there. You can go there you know, during the day, relax, have a few drinks, or you can go at night, and it's more like a lounge area, right? Very open, incredible spot. You look over the entire city from there. So as we make our way up, we're passing some of the villas here, and these are the flowers. So, Bougainville means flower, right? And this is it. This is the flower we're talking about. We actually have this in Miami, so very similar. One thing I love about my resort is they have a spa. This is an extra 10 euro per day, but you have everything here. Let's check it out. This is Hamam Butrinti and Spa. As you can see, we are uh, there, uh, there is all handmade. Handmade materials, it, it is all full mosaics. It is um, inspired by the traditional Albanian history, let's say. Uh, now we'll go into all the products that we have here in Amami Putri. Here is a bio sauna. We have the ice room, sauna, and we have the snow bath. The snow bath? Snow bath. What is that? So ice comes out of here? Yes, ice comes out of here. Oh, yeah. So you can do it. Uh, you scrub it on yourself. And I love this, by the way. I love how it's like ancient slash like modern, yes. right? It's a good mix. And everything here, as you said, is handmade. What I love about the spa is they have a hammam, a Turkish bath. Look at this place. Ooh. And next up, we have a jacuzzi. So this is like a flower? Like, yes, yes. Yeah? It's like a flower. So you have mosaics. Yes. Okay. It's warm. It's perfect after the sauna. After the sauna, you can chill here. This is great. So each one is for a person. It has a capacity of five persons. Here we have the lady saunas. And here is the emotional shower. So the emotional shower is basically rocks on the bottom. So it gives you like emotions while you're stepping on it. Right? Yes, I've actually right. done this before. It's like, it's crazy because it feels weird, you know? Yes, yes. Full of emotions. We're going to the second level of the spa. Here's like the massage area. And here, as you can see, there's mosaics. And these are all basically pieces of recycled bathrooms from many different places around the world. Look at this. Love the colors. Feels like you're walking through like a, like, sort of like a, like under the bottom of a boat, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. cool. That's like a window of a boat. So, except the spa, here we have the, the two beds for massage and they, here they do every kind of massage, like Thai massage, relax massage, therapy massage, everything, everything. So it's amazing. You need at least uh, three days to enjoy the facilities, the benefits of the hotel. We are in the VIP area, VIP area. So this guy, my man, we're back. <laughs> Infinity pool overlooking the entire, wow, the entire sea, the city. So as I said, this is a 365 degree view, amazing rooftop terrace. We have the infinity pool, we have jacuzzi, over here we have the bar, here you have like four lounging areas, some chairs, and that's it. But the view, can't beat it. Epic. Epic, Corfu right there. Yeah, Corfu right there. Sunset here is the best. another thing. All right, you gonna jump in the water? Yeah. Let's go. And this is what you do here. Come up here, relax, have a drink, chill by the pool. Look over the entire city, nothing better. Good. Insane. Wow. 
This is a different world. People have no idea about Albania. And when you see this, you're like, dude. Speechless. Speechless, yeah, speechless. Everything is so affordable. It's relaxing, people are friendly. Food is delicious. I agree totally with you for everything. So, uh, it's first, like, I like my country, but like this trip, I love it more. You know, we've seen the best, the best of Albania so far, the best dishes, the best meals, everything. All right, guys, after an hour relaxing the pool, we are ready to go out to see the sunset, the castle, and then we're going to dinner. This is, this is actually not the center of Sarande. This is like a little more south, going to Samil, right? Yeah. So we are going to have the best sunset of Albania. So we made it here to the castle, and as you can see, you're looking over the sea, the lake, the hills, the mountains. My God, what a view, bro. What a view. This is the best view of the Ionian Sea. So you can see the Putrin Lake, the Ionian Sea, the Xamil you can see from here. The city you will see it in a few moments. So is there a restaurant here? Yeah. Okay. So there's a restaurant. You have a souvenir shop. You have some walls. It's not just a castle. Yeah. It's like an entertainment venue here. <laughs> Once you enter the castle, walk through the restaurant, go to the very end, all the way to this area, which is basically where the defense tower, right? And from here, you get epic views over Saranda. You have the sunset behind us. You have Corfu, the sea, just beautiful. So, I mean, this is what you should do. Right now, it's summer, so it's setting at around 7.15, 7.45 in that time frame, right? Yeah. And it's a little overcast, but still, we're gonna see it right there. And yeah, that's what you do here. You come, see that, have a drink. If you want, you can stay, have some dinner at one of these restaurants. Just one restaurant? Yeah, just one restaurant here, but uh, they have a lot of, uh, they have a photo show after eight o'clock, so you can enjoy time here and with a great sunset. Okay, so the sun has come out. It's setting, beautiful. As you can see, there's tons of people here. Everybody's super dressed up. I'm guessing they're here to have dinner. So they're probably gonna see the sunset, have dinner, hear some music, drink some drinks, enjoy the food. And yeah, guys, I mean, this is what you have to do when you come to Sarande. I mean, the one thing you can't miss out on is coming up here to the castle and seeing this beautiful sunset. I mean, the views are just epic. I've seen a lot of sunsets here in Albania, but this one for sure is my favorite. I mean, the view, experience, just beautiful. This restaurant's huge, massive terraces, right? So you have two, three different levels, actually. The first one over there, this one, the main one, and then over here to the side, another huge terrace. And I'm walking up to the walls. Here we go. Beautiful. God, this place is incredible. Wow, history, beauty, sea, mountains, farms. I'm just telling you what it is. It's real, it's amazing. This is ridiculous. Yeah. The view right here is actually the best. Like that one's cool because you see the city, but this one I love it with the walls, you are, the sea. It's a private tower. Tower. So where's where's the Hierarchia? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you ready? I'm ready for Hierarchia. We're going for dinner at Taverna Pupi, one of the best, most traditional ones. And here we are. Yeah. Taverna Pupi since 1991. This place looks amazing right on the water. Love this restaurant, look at this. It's like one huge terrace overlooking the sea. They also have a beach down here. Wow, people are still at the beach. Love it with the sunset. Reds, yellows, greens. And right here, we also have a huge tree. This is super nice. I think we're gonna sit right here with a beautiful light. My friend, Gazor. Gazor. He loves that Albar beer. Elbar. I like the Rakia. Oh, whoa. This is different. Yeah, it's a little tasty, like smoke. Really? Probably put it in a barrel. Whew. All right, guys, time to step into the kitchen and see how they make some of this fish. My friends and chefs over here are making two different delicious seafood dishes. One's a pasta, one's a risotto, and they're also grilling some squid and some shrimp. He actually added something very unique there. It was like almost like a marmalade glaze on top honey style, it looks fantastic. What is it called? That was octopus sauce. He's making misto frito, it's my favorite. It's just a <laughs> mix of fried stuff from the sea. <laughs> the next thing he's making is stuffed calamari, his recipe. You can only get it here. So what's in it? 
The second no. The cigarette, I know, I know. But we'll see anyway. <laughs> Ham, some cheese, red pepper. I think there's some, uh, I don't know, onion in there. Hey, it looks so good, so good. And then he's gonna fry this, right? So once they're ready, he puts toothpicks to them to like close them, and then he stabs them a little bit. And then he fries. This husband and wife chef couple are the best. They really are the best. Thank you. Gazor, Gazor. <laughs> Everything looks spectacular. We got the stuffed squid. We have this like tava looking shrimp tava there. Bruschetta. We have a summer salad, delicious balsamico. And then we have the amazing seafood pasta. And here we go, my friends. We have a massive feast. We have the pasta, seafood pasta. We have the delicious shrimp tava. Then we have the bruschetta, the salad, and the stuffed squid. We're starting with bruschetta, obviously. Antipasto, no? So it basically has goat cheese. It has pomodoro, tomato. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Next up, we have this super summer salad. Love the greens. Cut it up, chop it. Mm -hmm. Good way to break my little fast, man, because we haven't eaten in like seven hours. Super refreshing, arugula salad. Got some carrots, some onions. Let's jump on the pasta. Calamari's and the squid right there. Get one muscle. We had so many muscles today, but I'll eat more. Pasta de Albania. It's so different yet so amazing it's not different it's really the most authentic thing you can get to italian pasta oh yeah it's amazing and what i meant what I, what I said before is that it's like when you have pasta in italy it's so different from anywhere else in the world but when you go to Alb albania it's very similar like the taste the freshness they just know how to do pasta Mm. Now we have to have another mussel, right? Mussels mixed with some calamari. I can eat pasta every day, bro. It wouldn't be good for me, but I could do it. For the tenth time today, Albania, they know how to party. Oh, this is good. This is from this area. There's wine, like literally all over Albania. North, central, south. Best places are probably like Beta and Duras. One last bite of this because I'm getting full and I still have two other plates. All right, last two things. Oh man, we have the squid, the stuffed squid. It's gonna be amazing. And this is basically, it's like shrimp saganagi, which is a Greek dish, but a little different. Mm. Mm. Oh man, it's a spice. So spicy. Mmm, that's good. It's creamy. There's red peppers, tiny shrimp. You have to like close your eyes to get all the different flavors, the texture. Mm. And adding the Tabasco here was the best add on. Well, lastly, we got this beautiful squid. So let's not mix the flavors here. We thought the other one was creamy. This is like taking the cake. Every new restaurant we try is like most, more delicious than the last one. I know it's like, is it true or is it because it's very tasty? No? I don't know, man. It gets better and better. Better and better, yeah. Mm. Thick, dense texture of the squid with the ham. Mm. Spicy a little bit. It's red pepper. Pepperoncino, actually. Yeah. Something else. Yeah. Next up, we're going somewhere special. So try some cocktail, Albanian cocktail. Albanian cocktails. Yeah. And we are on the strip, and this is like Ocean Drive, similar to Miami. This place is packed. All right, so this nightclub's called Orange. Luckily for us, the music is low, but it is packed. And right now, we're gonna try something called Orange, right? 
Yeah. Thank it's you. a unique uh, cocktail made by this guy right here. Yeah. I mean, he mixed in, I think, like four or five different things. Then he added lemon and are these cherries. Yeah. It's a. Uh, so, try it first. How is it? Try it. Let's see. Okay, six out of ten, mm. maybe seven, maybe eight. That's great. Mm. Great. Oh, it's nice. good? Dude, I don't even taste alcohol. No? No. There's hey, no alcohol. Look, bro, boy, alcohol is, that. is it uh, non alcoholic? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not a virgin. <laughs> no, 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 no. You put oh, too much huh? alcohol, so... Well, you put too much yeah, alcohol? Yeah. I mean, I don't taste it. It tastes, it tastes more like the zest. You also have... What else right. Especially if it's, if it's something, you know, like jump wheel or whatever, inside or control, you don't feel it. But, you you know, like you don't feel it on the, on the palate. But we you feel, feel it there. That's the good stuff, right? So I Love Orange is a huge bar club. It's on the sea, literally. Where we're standing right now is above the water. The whole thing is a huge deck, so it's the bar in the middle, massive bar. Then you have all the tables going around, and then it goes to like a second platform, lower, and then you're in the water, right? And yeah, I mean, live music, good drinks. Yeah, definitely the best club in Albania for summertime. Best club in Albania. Yeah. Wow. Resort, bro. Resort. All right, my friends, we had an incredible afternoon. We started off at our hotel, the Bungaville Bay. Beautiful place. They have a pool. Actually, they have like five. Yeah. Infinity pool on the rooftop is the best. That's the ultimate one. They also have a beach and they have many restaurants. After that, we went over to the castle. We saw yeah, the sunset. Best sunset. The best, best sunset. sunset. He's saying it's the best sunset. I think it is because every other sunset I've seen didn't have that view. It didn't have that feel, right? In fact, it's the best uh, Yonian sunset. You know, Yonian sea in uh, general have a very great sunset. And then after that, went to Taverna Pupi, which has some of the best seafood on the planet. Well, for sure here in this city, because it was so good. The stuffed squid, the pasta, and the shrimp saganaki. Shrimp saganaki is the best. Shrimp saganaki is the best. the best. And then after that, we came to I Love Orange, it's the number one nightclub here. In Albania, right? Yeah, it was. It is one of the best nightclubs, Orange Club in Saranda. We had uh, a great cocktail for a bartender, so we enjoyed a lot talking with uh, locals. It was an amazing experience. And yeah, guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Albania.